No, the moon landing isn't fake. However, there is a considerable amount of people who insist people never landed on the moon. Let's explain it all in this video. Nowadays, the notion that the US government faked it all is treated mostly as a punchline. Conspiracy theories that the moon landing was actually a hoax the US government had staged to win the space race with the Soviets began to gain traction in the mid-1970s. Although these claims were false and easily debunked, they have persisted to this day. People like Stephen Curry and Whoopi Goldberg still wonder whether the NASA moon landing really happened. NASA even responded to Curry by inviting the NBA player to visit its moon lab and look at lunar rocks. But Curry was quick to backpedal and take back his statements when the media whiplash came. So, why do people still believe the moon landings were staged? That's apparently for a few reasons. The most obvious being simply that a lot of people don't understand how it was done. That's the same phenomenon that leads some to invoke aliens to explain the pyramids of Egypt. Landing the first human on the moon was probably the single greatest achievement of all time. Every other achievement pales in comparison. Maybe it's not surprising that some people would deny that such an achievement 50 years ago was possible, much less in under 10 years. It's like discovering that the Great Pyramid of Giza was constructed in the span of a day. Without understanding the technology required to do this, who would people believe such a feat was possible? So let's break down some points made by a conspiracy claimant here in this video. If you look at some pictures of the Apollo 11 mission, the American flag appears to be waving in the wind, but the flag wasn't really waving. The thing is that the American flag on the moon isn't an ordinary flag. If the astronauts had planted a regular flag on the moon, it would have hung slack, as flags do on Earth when there's no wind. That's why NASA designed special flags for astronauts to take with them. The flag was disturbed as it was planted into the ground. When astronauts were planting it, they rotated it back and forth to better dig into the lunar soil, which of course made the flag ripple. In still pictures, the flag looks like it's waving in the wind. But in video images, you can see it only moves while the astronauts are grinding it into the moon's surface. After the astronauts step away, it stays in the same bent shape because of the partially extended rod. First of all, no astronaut has ever been on the moon's surface at nighttime. During the day, the glow from the sun, and especially from the surface, is so strong that the eyes and the cameras aren't adapted for seeing such faint objects as stars. You would need to hide under the shadow of a big rock or something so that no portion of the bright surface is visible from your viewpoint. But even then, you would have to wait a few minutes until the eyes start to adjust to the darkness then you would be able to see stars even during the day. The reason why you can't see stars in photos taken by Apollo astronauts on the lunar surface is that the astronauts set their cameras to have fast exposure times, so the cameras were unable to capture the faint light emitted by stars. Long story short, the high contrast is the reason why you can't see stars. The Van Allen radiation belt is a zone of energetic charged particles, most of which originate from the solar wind. The particles are captured by and held around Earth by the planet's magnetic field. This protects us from dangerous solar radiation. Unless you deliberately hovered within this zone for many hours or days, the radiation exposure is well below dangerous levels. The Apollo astronauts passed through the belts in less than four hours total for the trip, 
And that's not much more serious than getting a chest x-ray. The astronauts were taking their photos on a hilly, brightly lit landscape while the sun was close to the horizon. A low sun and uneven surface can distort the angles of shadows and images. And if there were multiple light sources, then obviously each object would cast multiple shadows. These were only some of the conspiracy claims, but other reasons why the landings are real include the fact that the technology to fake the moon landings did not exist in 1969. For example, you wouldn't be able to create a studio with a low gravity vacuum. So it was easier to literally go land on the moon's surface than to fake it. And then other countries were tracking the mission. The Soviets, for example, possessed advanced tracking capabilities of their own which they would have used to track ICBM missiles as well as spaceflight. So if the moon landings were faked, the Soviets would have had every reason to expose this in order to score a major propaganda victory. Moreover, one of the experiments taken into space on Apollo 11 was called the Lunar Laser Retro Reflector, and it still works even today though perhaps not as well as it did back then. When Buzz Aldrin left the moon lander, he laid out the reflector module on the surface that enabled scientists here on Earth to shoot a laser at the moon and have that light reflected right back at them. The success of the project ultimately helped lay the foundation decades later for GPS and other satellite-based technology that we're so dependent on today. While conspiracy theories that the moon landing was a hoax may seem silly and harmless, in reality, they spread misinformation and make people susceptible to other false theories. And yeah, they could also earn you a punch from Buzz Aldrin.